From a modern perspective, with a modern understanding of domestic violence, this case looks even more appalling than it did 40 years ago. Eric Nydam was infatuated with Catherine Stradling, who had travelled from England to be with him. She could not remain with him due to his jealous and controlling conduct. Even after she left him, he made her sign a document that she would continue to see him one day a week. In context, there is no doubt that Catherine Stradling was in fear of Eric Nydam. He had her under surveillance, and when she went to the hairdressers, he went to a petrol station. He obtained some petrol, went into the salon, poured the petrol on her, and set it alight. She died immediately, and a young apprentice hairdresser named Karen Bush was terribly burned. She died a few days later. A key dispute at trial was whether he had intended to kill or grievously harm Ms Stradling. Common sense might suggest that the answer was obvious, but Nydam argued his intention had actually been to pretend he was going to set himself alight, in order to obtain her pity. On his version, he had accidentally spilled the petrol, and then accidentally set it alight. The full court of the Victorian Supreme Court had to consider the directions given to the jury by the trial judge about manslaughter by criminal negligence. The complaint was that the judge had not sufficiently distinguished between reckless murder and manslaughter by criminal negligence. For murder by recklessness, one must know that death or grievous bodily harm are likely outcomes of conduct, and yet continue to run the risk. For manslaughter by criminal negligence, the test is different. The full court said, In order to establish manslaughter by criminal negligence, it is sufficient if the prosecution shows that the act which caused the death was done by the accused consciously and voluntarily, without any intention of causing death or grievous bodily harm, but in circumstances which involved such a great falling short of the standard of care which a reasonable man would have exercised, and which involved such a high risk that death or grievous bodily harm would follow, that the doing of the act merited criminal punishment. This has become our standard test for criminal negligence, not just for homicide, but across our entire criminal law. Thank you.